And this big news is... Yes, the news! Oh, it's huge! It's, it's so exciting! I can't believe it! Oh, and it is, it's all about this! And, oh, I, I, but I'll tell you more about it right, right after we watch this interview with Crazy Ace. What? What? Watch the next segment. What next segment? What are we going to watch? Are you going to watch me doing an interview? On Earth? So where I've already been? On my own dime? Will you drag us here? Killing mechs? Killing 50 of our clone warriors? We can be beat with this crazy thing? You want me to do what? You want to go what? Watch a segment? That's why I'm here! It's to watch a segment! I don't want to watch a segment! I don't want to watch another film! I'm so sick of you! God, it's crazy! Richard! Yes? Richard! What? Oh, yeah, sorry. Can we just watch the film? <sighs> yes. Watch the film. Okay, I'll do the Wi Fi. <laughs> so, we've got some um, thing. Um, that's a lot of different things to cover. Um, uh, well, uh, hello, I've got guests here. Um, we're going to talk about a bunch of th things that they've written down, but I can... Well, eh, Paul Armstrong, director, and, and you probably know him, and Kristen Stilling, who's just kind of awesome. Introduce yourselves. Well, uh, I'm Paul Armstrong, the executive director and executive producer of Crazy Eights. Uh, and I'm Kristen Stilling. I am co-producer and production manager of Crazy Eights. It's so good to have you back. Yeah. What's Thank going you. on? I've got a laundry list of well, things to talk about. I can't well, remember. It's my first time actually on the show. I brought lots of guests on, lots of crazy oh, alumni, right? so it's nice to actually sit I in the chair. I see you all the time. You're always yeah. on like the teleprompter thing that Toasty's got rolling. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. even know. He, well, he's really bad. Do you remember those UHF I've done things? cameos and I didn't know. Yeah, it's like oh. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Raj probably shouldn't have mentioned that. But <laughs> you are here now, and we're grateful to have you. So Thank please you. tell us what's going on. Well, it's uh, Crazy Eats uh, right now. We have our uh, top six that have just either just been announced or about to be announced. Uh, in case you don't know what Crazy Eats, it's an eight-day filmmaking competition where teams have eight days to make a short film, and they screen for the biggest uh, single screening audience in Vancouver at the end of February, February uh, 25th this year, where we have over 1,700 people usually at the screening, and almost 1,500 come to the party at Science World. So it's one of the biggest short film events in Vancouver. That is exciting. Yeah, yeah. and uh, there's a couple other things coming up before that. We have at the end of January our annual uh, fundraiser where we show past Crazy Eights films going back to 1999. 99? Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, there's wow. been 97 films made so far, so we dig them out of the vault. And it's fantastic. Yeah, bring out the old, older filmmakers and show off their work. and. And they've been yeah. wonderful enough to grace us here on the station. Many have yeah. appeared here. That's right. That's right. Yeah. On the one that blew up and the, oh. the, and the <laughs> new one. The filmmakers right. survived that one. So filmmakers yeah. have always survived. Yeah. Cameras were not harmed in any of those instances. But I can't yeah. say yeah. the same thing for a few producers. Ooh. <coughs> anyway. Shocking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as Paul was saying, we are getting, or we're just about to, we're getting ready to announce the top six films. So to get to that stage, people have to submit a video pitch uh, telling us their idea for a short film. And we uh, narrow it down from this year, we had a record number of mm -hmm. applicants. We yep. had 216 yep. people apply. There goes my question. Yeah, that's good. 216, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. 216 uh, for 2016. That's, huh. Huh. Another coincidence. Huh. 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 Yeah. And then uh, we narrow it, we watch all the video pitches, narrow it down to 40, who oh. then pitch in person to a jury. And then that jury narrows it down to 12 yeah. short films, go through some story editing process, and then we're left with our magic six for this year oh, that go into production in February. Yeah. In February. February. But now it's down to six. Yeah, in February is coming up. We'll be shooting six films at the same time over the same weekend, posting at the same time. It's pretty crazy. That is yeah. like crazy days, right? <laughs> Very well named. And only eight days. Yeah, so three brilliant. shoot days and five post days, and then on the eighth day, they have to deliver. Yep. Is that how it goes? Is yeah. it always three shoot days? Oh, yeah. 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 And no one's never delivered in uh, the last 17 years. Cool. Yeah, every film's been completed, so that's brilliant. Pressure's on. Oh, I'm sure they'll. Yeah. I'm sure they'll get it done again. Your <laughs> yeah. selection process is good, I bet. 
we try to give them as much support as they need to make sure that they understand the parameters and the limitations, but then also the uh, abilities that come with the eight days. And we want to see every team succeed. So yeah, we, we give them lots of workshops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We train them well. What's it like for someone who gets into that, people who might want to get into something like this? Well, they say it's very intense, and we know, because <laughs> it's more intense for us probably doing it than the filmmakers, because we're doing six films at the same time, they're just doing one. But in the end, they find it very rewarding, because they get to show off their film to the biggest crowd in Vancouver for film, and then a lot of the films go on to great success afterwards at festivals, and a lot of the filmmakers, uh, it gives them a boost up in their career. Mm -hmm. uh, like one of the filmmakers from last year, she's working on a TV series up here and she showed it to the producers and now she's going to be directing four episodes of the series oh. next year from yeah, from what she showed of her Crazy Eights works to the producers. So uh, another film is potentially being turned into a TV series. Um, it's in talks right now, so we'll see what happens there. So the films go on to potentially great success. It is a fantastic day. Uh, we've yeah. been there before. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The films it's are covered every fantastic. year. We appreciate that. It's super fun. Oh, yeah. It's a pleasure for us to be there. And then what's new? What's ha what else is going to be happening? Uh, we're trying to get the films onto Apple TV, so that might be coming out soon this year, uh, or maybe already by now. We're yeah, we're in the process of getting them onto Apple TV. Right now, you can watch some of the older ones on uh, on our website, crazyheats.film. Mm -hmm. But we're also trying to get out there more digitally. So Apple TV is the first start. Oh, and it's going to be a fantastic yeah. 2017. Eh? Yeah. yeah, and of course here, right here on this show, you of can course. watch them. Yeah. You can watch them here. It's tune in. Uh, I'd say live, but that wouldn't be quite true. So we have something to show the audience, do we? Yeah, yeah, we have uh, one of the making of videos from last year of the, uh, the film, so this was shot um, while we were filming. Let's watch the behind the scenes. Toasty, rule that Wi-Fi. knows Crazy Eights and respects it. The filmmakers out there making shorts all the time, every day, and hardly anyone ever sees them. So the fact that people are going to be actually watching something that we've all made is pretty amazing. Crazy Eights uh, experience has been pretty great. I don't think we've had 30, how many people are working in this? 20. 25? At least, at least. It's usually like us and two others, so. Yeah. So two years ago, I got to make a Crazy Eight. That film went on to win a bunch of festival awards and we won three Leos. I think we're gonna get the film we wanted and I think it might even be better than we even ever dreamed of. So a couple of times I've been wondering, who the hell wrote this? Like, why are there so many locations? Why are there so many cast, costume changes? horses and stunts and visual effects, but it's all coming to life and I'm just absolutely blown away by how it's exceeding all of my expectations. 